In this video, I'm gonna talk with you about the Zero Genesis Barefoot Minimalist Sandals. I'm gonna share what I like about them, what I dislike about them, and how you can fix the dreaded slap or flat problem that people report when they first get these sandals. And don't worry, it's a really easy fix. I'm Matt Shu from Upright Health, where we help you move right, think right, and feel right. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Zero Genesis sandals. Now, before you get into minimalist and barefoot footwear, I really encourage you to read this book by Katie Bowman. It's called Whole Body Barefoot, and it really gives you a good primer on how to transition into going minimalist with your footwear and even walking around barefoot like a crazy hippie. I will leave a link to that book in the description box below. Be sure to check it out. But the long and short of it is that you need to do the transition gradually so that your feet don't hurt all the time. So let's talk about the Zero Genesis sandals. Let's first start with what I really like about them. I love that they are super low profile. The soles are only five millimeters. They are thinner than Zero's other sandals, the Z-Trek. Um, they are so flexible, it's incredible. You can literally fold them up and roll them up and they take up no space in your luggage. They take up no space on your foot. The cords that are used um, to secure the sandal to your foot are really low profile. It gives you a nice sexy tan line on your foot. That's different from normal flip flops. And they just move with you when you have them adjusted properly. So when I'm walking around town, when I'm taking an easy hike or a stroll somewhere, these are my go-to sandals. I've also run in them. I can run on dirt, on paths, I can run on concrete because my feet, again, are used to that. But there are some reasons that I won't use these sandals for other activities. While I generally love wearing these sandals as much as I can, there are a couple drawbacks that you should know about if you're gonna get these sandals. The first is that they are not great when you need to do anything that requires lateral motion. So if I'm like running towards this cliff and I need to stop, the sole will actually shift under my foot so it can go like that and then my feet have actually slid off the sole and that just feels weird and is not the type of response that I want from my footwear when I'm doing anything that requires cutting back and forth. So if I'm going somewhere where I need the sole of the sandal to stay under me when I'm either dancing, hiking on something that's a little more difficult, di difficult terrain, then I prefer not to wear these and instead I'll go with the Z-Trek sandals. The other thing that sort of bugs me about these sandals is just that they're kind of hard to get on and off. So if I'm carrying my son around and I get home, we're in the garage and I need to take these off, it's actually kind of annoying to have to grab here and like work this off. It's like you can like, and then yank it off while you're holding on to a 20 pound squirming bowling ball. So if I know I need to get in and out of sandals quickly, then I'll usually prefer the Z-Trek because the Z-Trek have a um, Velcro strap on the back that's really easy to undo and escape out of. Now, that being said, those are not really big deals. That's just use cases that I can adjust for. The thing that really bugged me that seems to bug a lot of people with the Genesis sandals is the dreaded slap and flat problem. But I'm gonna show you how to fix that so your sandals feel good on your feet. When you first get the Zero Genesis sandals, you may notice that the straps here, these cords, are basically set like this in the heel cup. Now, if you just put the sandal on like this, you might get a good fit, but you might also get a really terrible fit that results in the slap and flap and just overall floppiness of the sandal when you run or walk. So when I first got these sandals, um, I didn't wear them for several months because I thought they were really annoying. The, the, this part would get stuck on the ground all the time. If I was driving my car sometimes, the, uh, on my right foot, the flap, would, the front of the sandal would flap under the brake pedal or flap under the gas pedal. And that was not only annoying, but also quite dangerous because I couldn't get my foot to the right spot. So uh, after a few months though, I realized there was a way to fix this and it involves changing the way these cords are set up on the sandal. 
When you look at the sandal, you'll notice that these cords come across the top of the foot, and these are actually the ones that are responsible for pulling the actual sandal sole up if you lift your toes up. So if this strapping is too loose, which for me it was by default, then you're gonna end up with the flop. So what you have to do is actually get this to be tighter across the top of the foot so that the sandal actually fits you properly and hugs your foot rather than allows too much play. If I leave these cords super loose like I've set them right now and I put my foot in, you can see that and I tighten this top thing, you can see just how much this can flap away from my foot. You can see I can get this huge gap under the sole of my foot and the actual sandal because this is not pulling up. If I could get this effectively pulled up, then the sandal works and I feel like I'm connected to my footwear, which is exactly what I want. So how do you fix that? Let me show you. What you wanna do is take this cord those two cords here, and then you want to pull them through the hole. So that, as you can see, is pulling this down tighter and tighter. Move that out of the way. So then we pull that through, and now that's made this section effectively much longer. Now if you notice, this now comes way too far back. So if I put my foot back in here, then it's going to let my heel slide back too much. So we have to shorten that up. So then we need to take this this area of the cords and these straps and just pull through like that and then we've got a better fit so now if i throw my foot back in here like that tighten this down and then i lift my foot you can see the sandal actually stays with me i have to work much harder to get my hand under here but it actually hugs the bottom of my foot so when i lift up it stays and i'm good it doesn't flop and flap so much and it's much harder for it to get caught on the ground because it's hugging my toes rather than flip-flopping around. When you're making adjustments to the strapping on your sandals, it's really important that you not do it while you're wearing the sandals. I've made that mistake and here's what will happen. You're going to be pulling on the cord super hard thinking, I just got to get this three millimeters of extra tightness and you pull and you pull and you pull, but because your foot's in there, you can't get the cord to pull correctly, the rubber is gripping the cords, and then snap! You now have a broken, busted sandal because you were too impatient to take the sandal off. Now you have a useless sandal that you can't use for anything besides telling other people not to wreck their sandals. So, it's a simple fix, but make sure that you take the sandal off before you try it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video on the Zero Genesis sandals. I hope you found it helpful and that you are able to get rid of the slap and flap on your sandals, too. If you find the tip helpful, leave a comment, click the like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And when you do so, click that bell icon so you get notifications for when we here at Upright Health make new videos. And if you want to get your own pair of Zero Genesis sandals, then check out the description box. There is a link down there. When you purchase through that link, you actually help us produce more videos to help you. If you want to see more videos on barefoot minimalist shoes, be sure to check out the description box for helpful links. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't. Yeah. Minimalist. Ah, ah, don't worry. Ah, 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 and there's one more thing. Ah, for, ah, 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 I hope you. Ah, ah.